And we are back with our daily Bible readings. In accordance with our daily Bible reading calendar, today we're conducting our reading for June 18th. Our morning reading will be Nehemiah chapters 10 and 11. Our evening reading will be Ch Acts chapter 4 verses 1 through 22. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Nehemiah chapter 10. Now those that sealed were Nehemiah, the Tershatha, the son of Hakaliah, and Zidkijah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Peshur, Amariah, Malkijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Maluk, Harim, Merimoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Genithon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Mijamin, Meziah, Bilgai, Shemaiah. These were the priests and the Levites, both Jeshua, the son of Azaniah, Benuai, the sons of Henadad, Cadmiel, and their brethren, Shebaniah. Hodijah, Kelita, Pelaiah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Heshabiah, Zachor, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hodijah, Bani, Beninu, the chief of the people, Perus, Pereth, Moab, Elam, Zethu, Bani, Bunai, Asgad, Babai, Adonijah, Bigvi, Aden, Ader, Hiskija, Azer, Hodija, Hashem, Bezai, Harif, Anathoth, Nebai, Meg, Piash, Meshulam, Hazer, Meshizabil, Zadok, Zadua, Pelatia, Hanan, Anaia, Hoshia, Hanaiah, Heshub, Halohesh, Peleha, Shobek, Rehum, Heshabna, Messiah, and Ahijah, Hanan, Hanan, Malak, Haram, Bena, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethanims, and all that they had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our God, and his judgments and his statutes. And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, not take their daughters for their sons. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we should not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Also, we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with a third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God, for the showbread and for the continual meat offering and for the continual burnt offering of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for the set feasts and for the holy things and for the sin offerings to make an atonement for Israel and for all the work of the house of our God. And we cast the lots among the priests and Levites and people for the wood offering to bring it into the house of our God after the houses of our fathers, at times appointed year by year to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law, and to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all fruit of all trees year by year unto the house of the Lord. Also the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, to bring to the house of our God unto the priests that minister in the house of our God. 
and that we should bring the first fruits of our dough and our offerings and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground unto the Levites, that the same Levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. And the priests, the sons of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites take tithes. And the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes unto the house of our God, to the chambers, and to the treasure house. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn, of the new wine, and the oil unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary and the priests that minister, and the porters and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our God. The Word of the Lord. <laughs>